Hello everyone, this is Inu Zuma here, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Blastmaster Zero 2. Jason Frundnik, a young luminary in the field of robotics, fell into a deep underground world in pursuit of a strange creature known as Fred. Waiting for him in that subterranean landscape was a lone vehicle. The interplanetary all-terrain battle tank, Sophia the Third. Served as his only means of resisting the horde of mutants that relentlessly attacked him as he traversed the unfamiliar world. Bored Sophia the Third, he set out in search of the creature, Fred. <laughs> On his journey, Jason encountered Sophia the First support droid, Eve. They worked together to search for Fred and battle the mutants. Forming a deep bond in the process. They managed to locate the mutant core in international space. And by defeating it, saved Earth. Save the Earth from its impending calamity. However, it was not long before it faced another crisis. During the battle of the mutant core, a parasite infected Eve. A few mutant cells remained inside her and began to corrupt her body. Jason searched for a cure. He could not find treatment on Earth. So, he had to board the newly built G Sophia with even Fred and left. The Earth behind as it set off on an interplanetary voyage. He had faith that a cure existed on Eve's home planet, Sophia. Yeah, that's how this game starts. Oh, now, before we start, you may be wondering what happened to Sophia Zero. Well, apparently, it was just too powerful and destroyed itself. So that's why they buy built Gaia Sophia. But let's move. Now arriving on planet, Fluorescent. Whew, that was close. We shut right down, right down right before but our energy ran out. Eve, is the guy system holding on? Yes, SP was properly converted upon impact. The guy system is a brand new system, even I invented for G-Sophia. Using impact from a landing, from a landing, the planet's energy is, flow is absorbed and conserved in SP. Very issue allowed for a limitless planetary exploration. However, landing wasn't as smooth as we hoped. The hover function was damaged by the shock. But at least we can still drive. Around this normal fang flight. We we'll have to fix the hover function if we want to leave for some day. First, we ran out of energy and now we've got a system failure. It would be tough, but jeez, space travel is something else. It's not all bad, Jason. Before I got a reading on repair materials. I'm also picking up on the lifeforms. You better be careful out there. Roger. Roger back. Let's proceed with caution. If you don't have seen my LP, here's the controls. Stick to move, B to jump, Y to fire, R to aim at diagonals, up to fire up, A to fire your sub weapon. But there are some things that have changed. As you see, our sub weapon energy isn't charging automatically. We have to dive bomb from a high place. So there are mutants on this class. That, that mutant shell looks like a good like Sophia's mid cannon. You should miss knock it off knock off the shell before you attack. Alright, I'll give it a try. So many just speed, but hoarding it won't get me anywhere. I'll run over SP if I spend 
has been with G Sophia's guy system. When Sophia receives a big enough impact, SP will activate. It's risky, but the damage from enemy attacks also activates the system. The ideal method is a falling impact on this planet's uneven surface. But I've got to be careful. If I hit zero SP, the guy's system will shut down. All of Sophia's functions will suffer too. It really puts us in a jam. I shouldn't hold back, but I need to avoid shutdowns. So I gotta make sure I don't miss any chances to recover SP. Meet the one gimmick I don't like about this game. This was sort sorted out in free, but we'll we'll talk about that when we get to free. Free and the problem and the main problem of this game. That and we do have our wall climb ability. Our, we still have pellets, but our main ability is just to crash down upon them. You are lightning crashing down upon them. Checkpoint still works as they were. If you're out with Jason, you can get back on. Since we're picking up an item right below us, it seems like a cave. Sophia won't be able to enter. Let's find a safe spot for me to hop out on the ground. Be careful, Jason, or I should go with you. Sophia's energy is suppressing the mutant corruption. Until we find a cure, Eve won't be able to leave Sophia. The mutants are dangerous, but so is the planet itself. The surface is very uneven, so look before you leap. I will. Break my legs and won't let me recover any energy, unfortunately. <laughs> very funny. If anything comes up, give me a call from my icon on the subscreen. I can monitor your data through Sophia, so I might be able to offer some advice if needed. Thanks, Eve. I'll be counting you. But get some rest too. Yeah, I will. Also, if you can't find your way back, use the Fred icon on the subscreen. Fred's changed! Not just looks, but actually being useful. If I can open a wormhole that leads right to Sophia's position. As long as you aren't too far away, of course. Which means the same screen. Got it. Thanks for your help, buddy. However, Fred also has some extra uses. We'll get to see them soon. Jason still is pathetic in this day. But once we get to top down, he is going more badass. Now let's go in. And... We've got a new gimmick. Counterattacks. By pressing the next button, we counterattack. So, let's move Jason around. The same as always. B does nothing. Y fires. X uses a counter. And A uses your sub-weapons. But, our weapons... Actually, upgrade our blaster upgrades, but it's been changed. Get some new weapons. Some enemies need grenades, but some don't. Yes, Jason has a badass cape, and I really like it. So let's first grab this. Splasher! I really like the look of it, but it's useless. Seeker will be using this for a while. Absorber is the shield. It's pathetic. We've got a new weapon, completely. Whip. Uh, whip's not too useful. We've got map of area of this planet. And Fred comes out. Finally, do we need to walk all the way back? Sadly, we still have to. We still have to at least pay attention. Get that checkpoint. Oh, 
hate the enemies. Well, going here. Let's go in. And if we don't kill enemies, they will be stunned. Okay, we want to go over there. We've got EX charge. We hold the shoot button. We get a charge attack. Which, until we get our best weapon, we'll be probably relying on this. Speaking of our best weapon, wide. Let's talk to Eve about this. Despite, oh, no. All right, better show off the new looks inside the cockpit. I don't. I won't be doing this this much. Oh my god. So rara. Come on. Oh my god. Game, you don't need to tell me. I want to know about wave. Gun level A. Y blaster. With its large attack area, pierce thrust is very easy to use in any situation. But before you think, this is overpowered! Let me remind you, but you continue firing will gradually reduce its power. If your old blast rifle had this saved feature, it wouldn't be broken. Now, wouldn't it? We don't know how long this journey will last, so it's better this way. When wide blaster's power drops, it will recover after a while, but the energy expel from a blast counter should charge right up. If you want to keep using the wide blaster, get those counters. She isn't kidding. This is really powerful. So let's show it off. And better music. Just fire. Just because if we fire quickly, you'll notice it just gets smaller and smaller. So we want to keep it. Want to keep a rhythm. If we keep a rhythm, what's this map of? It seems to be coordinates of resource planetoids in the center of space. We'll need resources for our journey. They might help. Be, they might be on the way, but let's search for them after we leave this planet. Yeah, we don't actually have a lot of time. It would be a huge mistake to rush our journey through outer space. This is how we get our upgrades. And in some ways I like this, in others I don't. Also, not everything we sense. I'm so used to having the ability to hover. Get used to this annoyingly. And now, we've finally gotten to where we need to be.
There's one thing I don't like this game for, and that's... It really, really wouldn't start this odd puzzle trend of making sure blocks are in the right places. I honestly don't think it works to the game's betterment. I honestly think the game is worse off because of that trying to be something that it, the game isn't too great at being. The energy guard is in this game, so we'll soon get that, and this won't be as big of an issue. And we get our first on ground checkpoint before a boss. Beef, there's a boss mutant here. Jason, that mutant has a part we can use for Sophia. So we'll have to take I'll have to take it back by force. By force. The web of destruction, mock Rantula. Good job, Jason. Thanks for the support. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, just a little tired. Don't worry about me. I know I've said it a million times. But please, don't overexert yourself. Alright, then, returning to the part now. Alright, it shows. We've got hover, so we can head back into space. Yeah, I'll talk about that a bit. Might as well just show this now. The guy system turns into large... Oh. Uh, this is not... Come on, I wanted to talk. G crushers! G softest, and you can. Does it require SP firing and destroy certain objects? Fire down the street by using directional bond. Too bad the only cannon we could transfer from our last vehicle, Sophia Zero, was the Crusher Shot. I bet the battles on our journey, free space would be a lot easier if we could have used more of Sophia Zero Zero's armaments. Well, it's my fault for running here ragged. <laughs> yeah, this is them trying to explain why Sophia Zero. wasn't just given an upgrade. Besides the fact they probably really wanted to use Sophia the Third's colour scheme. Which honestly I don't blame them. While Sophia Zero was cool, Sophia the Third's colour scheme is just iconic. Thankfully, SP can be given two Gaia.
just slowly going through because there's no other way to go faster being reeled. Let's break. I mean, if you're clever, you can make a quick shortcut, but I am not exactly patient nor clever. Slow and steady. There we go. And of course, we've got another boss. An optional one. Mine might. I'm surprised it hasn't stopped the front. Normally it does. Even was weakened. Still has a lot of power. Seeker. <sighs> yeah, this is. Of course, we get a new sub weapon. Proximity mine, which is a not great weapon in my opinion. I prefer the grenades. In my opinion, the sub weapons for Jason aren't too amazing. Like, not bad, but they're not great. Like, In comparison to the ones in the first game, the ones in this game are not that amazing. And let's get some life. And if we show off the max off, yeah, we can't do much when we're in that grey state. Thankfully, we don't need to care. That line pad is how we leave. We have successfully departed planet Flotsante. Seems there are no issues with the parts you repaired. Great. Now let's search for the Mitchell Tunnel leading to the next sector. And they're basically telling us what they are. What, we're, what they are. What sectors are and all that. Let's go to our first mini planet. Get this. And another optional boss, and our first boss with the tank. And 
and as you see, we're taking quite a bit of damage. That energy burst can damage enemies, don't rely on it. Never rely on it. And our weak Pishur of a weapon. Say don't rely on it, and then I sorry. <laughs> Annoyingly, for a while, we literally will be kind of dancing with death. I. Uh, this is one thing I will say this game does terribly! Ugh. I will not lie. I think this game is the worst because of the guy's system. The third game fixed it, in my opinion. I think the guy's system works better. But it's also, that game also does not have that much hard bosses. Like, yeah, there's some pretty hard bosses in that game, but they're not as bad as this game. This game just goes from 0 to 100. There we go, finally. But now we get at least my favorite weapon of this game. At least sub weapon. The Hexa missiles. You'll be seeing me continuously coming back to them for almost anything. The Hexa missiles are just that good, in my opinion. And with that, we'll go to this last area. Because I believe it'll show us. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. First of all, show us that. Uh, we want all these broken. Yeah. For that, let's just k kill all these guys. But allow Sophia to charge. This game has an unhealthy obsession with platforming as Jason, and I don't know why. Like, the first game was pretty bad with it. This game, there was a patch because of how bad one area was with platforming. No, 
I'm not kidding. We'll get to it. I'll bring it up. And they'll be like, pointing out how much of a bad idea it is. And why they decided to continue that and didn't fix it in the third, in the third game. The third game is just so much better with that. But, with that, we've got nowhere else to go. So, let's sure. Let's go through. Just how long has it been since we left Earth on this journey to Sophia? He's putting on a brave face, but she's still getting weaker, even though Sophia is slowing for corruption. Travelling through space like this is physically demanding. We were prepared for trouble, but with every delay, the problem feels more and more urgent. Yet I know we're on the right path. It won't do any good to dwell on the past right now. We're almost out of the wormhole. Who knows what we'll encounter on the other side. New discovery! You know what? Let's just do B4. Yep. We see our mother brain. And that is a regular enemy. That's another thing this game really, really started to like doing is these platforming challenges with Sophia. Now we've got Impact Wave, which is uh, I I really don't like I said exit missiles for a while is going to be what I'm relying on as Sophia. It's because the hex missiles are just that good. They're not as good as a certain sub weapon in the third game, but that's kind of hard to beat. But we'll end by going into the next one. Saving. Let's go. Oh, press B. Let's just go faster. Just a reminder. Just tell you. Information. And we don't know what's in here. Why have we unlocked everything? So we're just going in. Now arriving on planet Monjo. We have successfully touched down on planet Matosh. This place is quite a lot of water, just like Earth. Huh? Oh, getting homesick? No, I'm fine, but if you line up more, there's no impact for the guy system to convert into SP. Some locations might be limited in opportunities to recover SP. <sighs> we should be able to find the tunnel's access key here, yeah. I can't pinpoint the exact location, but I can say for certain it's here. But I'm also picking up lots of mutant readings here too. One of those mutants must have the key, huh? Jason, Sophia is getting another signal. Something not mute. Again, no exact location, but whatever it is, it's not far. Got it. Let's go check it out. What's that? On this new planet. We're gonna stop. Next time! <sighs> On Blaster Master Zero Two, we're going to explore Planet Montage. This is Zenozuma, signing out. Also, I'll be gushing about this music. This is one thing, this game does great music. <laughs>